dopamine is one of the most influential neurochemicals shaping human behavior and subjective experience. This mysterious molecule courses invisibly through our brains, regulating essential functions from movement to motivation. By determining our baseline zest for life along with momentary peaks of pleasure, dopamine orchestrates the very rhythm and texture of being. Understanding how to skillfully steward this system promises tantalizing possibilities for amplifying human potential. We may bolster sustainable motivation in pursuing personally meaningful goals or render quotidian tasks more rewarding through subtle inner shifts. With nuanced management of our dopamine levels, we perhaps gain surprising influence over the color and vitality infusing our days. While often evoking sensations of desire and reward, dopamine in fact serves multiple vital roles. At the most basic level, it facilitates physical movement, as evidenced by the tremors and slowed mobility resulting from dopamine deficiencies in Parkinson's disease. Dopamine also plays an inextricable role in focusing attention, expediting thought and supporting the highest of executive functions. And it is deeply entwined with mood, motivation and the zeal to pursue life's opportunities. This multiplicity of effects arises from dopamine's role as a neuromodulator. Unlike neurotransmitters relaying signals between adjacent neurons, neuromodulators like dopamine have a broadcasting function, simultaneously influencing the behavior of disparate neural circuits. The effect is an orchestrated shifting of neurocognitive tendencies toward increased movement, elevated drive, positive affect, and outward engagement with the environment. To wield such influence, dopamine operates through two complementary mechanisms, tonic and phasic release. Tonic release establishes a baseline of dopamine continuously present in the synapses between neurons. This basal presence plays a constant modulating role, setting the background tone of mood and motivation. Phasic release adds brief spikes above this baseline, as through brief rewards or pleasurable episodes. These phasic spikes serve an important evolutionary function by reinforcing beneficial behaviours like eating and sex. The tantalising promise of another phasic thrill motivates animals to vigorously pursue such dopamine-enhancing experiences, but therein also lies the potential downside of dopamine's powers. For after those transient highs wane, baseline dopamine drops below normal levels temporarily. This post-peak crash reduces motivation and mood, potentially exacerbating any pre-existing low dopamine conditions. This elucidates the mechanism behind addiction and withdrawal. Drugs like cocaine and methamphetamine drive phasic dopamine spikes far beyond natural levels. But the subsequent dopamine crash then leaves users depleted and miserable. Seeking relief, they repeat the spike through re-administration of the drug, temporarily masking but not resolving the underlying dopamine dysregulation. Hence, the downward spiral of mounting addiction, requiring ever larger doses to overcome the deepening baseline dopamine deficits. Knowing this, we must exercise wisdom in seeking and regulating dopamine peaks. Too greedy a chase of those exhilarating highs risks the depressive crash of withdrawal. Better to judiciously sprinkle rewarding rituals enhancing both tonic and phasic dopamine. Mere moments of pleasure or triumph fully experienced may suffice, and balanced against routine activities carrying their own subtle joy. We must learn to carry the spirit of celebration even into mundane moments. These nuanced dynamics arise from dopamine pathways within the brain anatomy. Dopamine-releasing neurons originate in the substantia nigra and ventral tegmental areas. From there, they project to diverse regions, forming circuits specialized for distinct purposes. The nigrostrital pathway links to the motor areas, enabling physical movement. The mesolimbic pathway innovates emotional and decision centers like the nucleus accumbens, driving desire and reward perception. These systems interact, as dopamine is not released in isolation. It often co-evolves with excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate, generating widespread neural excitation. The net effect is arousal and stimulation of the target regions, whether motor, limbic or prefrontal cortex. This ready propagation explains dopamine's potent effects on mood and drive. Each pathway exhibits both tonic and phasic release modes. Local synaptic transmission directly influences neighboring cells.
but volumetric transmission widely disperses dopamine to affect entire regions simultaneously. The net result is dopamine's capacity to fluidly alternate between finely targeted effects to global modulation of the brain's overall motivational tone. The subtleties continue in dopamine's underlying cellular effects. Dopamine opens specialized ion channels on receiving neurons, rapidly exciting them. But it can also trigger secondary messenger cascades via G-protein coupled receptors. This slower pathway gives dopamine the potential to alter neuron behavior long term. These dynamics clarify dopamine's multifaceted powers over body and mind. Both immediate and gradual effects ripple through motor, motivational and cognitive centers. The ultimate impact depends on nuances of timing, localization and environmental context. And our daily habits and choices can profoundly shape these dopamine modulations. Understanding these mechanisms grants insight into safely enhancing dopamine function. In the short term, activities like sex, nicotine and cocaine sharply raise dopamine levels. So too can amino acid precursors like tyrosine and plant compounds such as mucuna prurians. As the raw ingredients converted to dopamine within neurons, ingesting them immediately elevates circulating dopamine. But careful moderation is necessary as chronic supplementation may downregulate natural dopamine synthesis. Other compounds directly damage dopamine neurons, inducing Parkinson's-like symptoms. The illicit drug MPTP kills dopamine cells by converting into a neurotoxin within the body. Restoring dopamine levels, such as through levodopa, L-dopa administration, can rapidly reverse these effects and dramatically improve function. But preventing the damage in the first place remains imperative. More sustainable benefits arise from long-term nourishment of the brain. Complex plant medicines like maca boost dopamine only indirectly by improving cellular functioning and reducing inflammation. Dopaminergic neurons thrive given the proper nutritional support, and the certain compounds even enhance their survival. The South American tea yerba mate shows particular promise through its antioxidant and neuroprotective activities. Regular exercise provides another anchoring pillar for dopamine health. Physical exertion naturally elevates dopamine, but only if intrinsically enjoyable to avoid undermining motivation. Too much external reward or stimulation blunts the benefits. Here, the aim is coherence of body, mind and spirit. Moving with full presence while cultivating inner resilience and joy independent of outcomes. This carries into all realms. Setting process-oriented goals focused on enjoyment and growth sustains motivation better than chasing superficial rewards. Detaching dopamine from pleasure only attainable through results and praise keeps passion self-renewing even through difficult stretches on the path. Each moment thus becomes its own miniature celebration and baseline dopamine remains abundant regardless externalities. Exposure to cold also reliably elevates dopamine generating sustained increases that optimize mood and mental focus. By activating sympathetic arousal and neurochemical cascades, cold therapy provides a natural lift without supplements or medications. But progressive acclimation remains important as extreme drops in temperature can be dangerous. Integrating these insights, we can compile a manual for judiciously nurturing dopamine's gifts. The foremost principle is maintaining balance between excited peaks and calm baselines. Too much chronic stimulation depletes receptors and neurotransmitter stores, but insufficient variation yields monotony and flattening of affect. The solution is cultivating intrinsic self-renewal through practices like mindfulness. By learning to generate inner dopamine spikes through presence and awareness, we reduce reliance on external hits. Inner work also dissolves unconscious attachment to pleasure and reward. No grasping after delirious highs, no aversions for dopamine-depleting vices. When using supplements or medications, favor gradual methods that nourish neurons over intense stimulation-seeking sudden spikes. Subtle boosts through lifestyle and nutrition optimize the function of existing dopaminergic systems. More sharp phasic peaks from drugs like cocaine burn through finite dopamine supplies. For all endeavors, emphasize the journey's flow. Set process-oriented goals and reward efforts rather than outcomes. Repeated frustration over results breeds helplessness from dopamine deficiency. But progress itself brings satisfaction when each contribution holds meaning. Remember that social bonds potently activate dopamine. 
not just oxytocin. Relationships are powerful modulators bidding us seek communion and meaning, but compulsively chasing online validation or stimulation undermines connection's nourishment. True belonging arises from vulnerability and authenticity. Finally, monitor energy through the day. When productivity and passion wane, refuel with healthy nutrients and rest, not hyperstimulation. Caffeine sustains stable alertness via dopamine receptor upregulation, but burning late night oil depletes the vigor needed for next day's possibilities. Intermittent fasting can recalibrate the dopamine reward system by temporarily reducing food reward. Fasting highlights satisfaction from dopamine released during deprivation. This internalizes motivation, linking it more to intrinsic than extrinsic rewards. Blocking dopamine receptors with drugs like Thorazine can induce profound depression and low motivation. This exemplifies dopamine's indispensable role in positive mood and outlook. Appropriate dopamine signaling enables us to perceive meaning and possibility throughout daily affairs. Our dopamine systems evolve to ebb and flow, excited and recuperated. Working harmoniously with these rhythms promises the joyful zeal and vibrancy we crave. But respecting dopamine's complexity and limitations guards against reckless overstimulation. With care and wisdom, even this invisible alchemy of the mind can create realities brighter than we imagine.